Sup my dudes, Valk here. I know that's something you guys haven't heard in a while. I, If you guys are curious where I've been, um, I have a second channel, or I have a channel for Roblox. It's been doing very good, so I've been focusing a lot of time on it. And unfortunately, that means less time for Star Rail, but today, we're getting our free Doctor Ratio. Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool that they did that. And I want to see... Um, I have so many red dots from, I guess, the update. I want to go ahead and level him up. I think I have enough to get him somewhere. I'm probably going to have to grind whatever imaginary ability um, there is. So that'll be something. And I'll probably skip past that. Let me see first. Let me uh, take a gander. And another thing, before I like get really into it... Yeah, I'm going to have to go grind that here in a second. Before I get really into it, guys, I, I've seen some memes about this. I might make another video on it. Don't summon on this banner. Uh, summon for Kafka, because Kafka. Uh, but genuinely, don't summon on this banner. Uh, I don't recommend it. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grind him real quick, and then we'll go ahead and cut back to this. All right, and we're back. And we gone ahead, or well, I've gone ahead and finished him up. Uh, he's not there anymore. He is... <laughs> Let me find him really quickly. He's around here somewhere. Him. Right here. Dr. Ratio. I don't have him on the best of relics, I don't have him on the best of light cones, but I mean, I got him pretty built up, 4, 8, 6, and 6, gonna see what he can do. Um, I have him basically where I focused on the passive, because if you guys don't know, well, his talent. Uh, his talent is basically where the majority of his damage is gonna come from, so I'm kind of hyped about that. I kind of want to see how he interacts with Topaz, and how he goes. I have him on Wild Wheat plus Inert Solsado. And obviously no Eidolons because I'm not summoning on that banner. If you summon on that banner, you're silly. So I'm going to go ahead now and make a team based around him and kind of see exactly where they go by going against a weekly boss and just seeing essentially what they can do together. So let's go ahead. We're going to add, we're going to take you out, you out, you out. We're going to add, obviously, we're going to add some Topaz up in here. Um, Topaz, you, you, you. Ruan, May, and then Fu Xuan. This will be the team that we run. Um, I do want to see exactly how it works. So let me accept all my dailies. Do what I, I love the new daily system. I really do. That they introduced with this patch. So let me go here. And let's go do Echoes of War against the newest boss. And let me see exactly how good he is. I've been hearing some really good things. I have pretty high expectations. I don't have him overly invested either. So if he does really good for me, I can only imagine how good he's going to be for you guys. Um, let me turn off auto really quickly. Just so I can uh, kind of get my stuff organized really quick. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to pop this off. I don't think I get to skill yet because I had to activate everybody else's skill. Pretty sure I just have to normal. Um, let's go ahead. Let's do this to go ahead and activate get that other passive up. And that way I can generate more ult charge. Uh, yeah, I just have to normal for now. Um, so far... All right, I do want to build up skill points, and that's going to let Nummy go again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do this, because I need to be able to break with Dr. Ratio first. So let me see exactly how... This should be a turn where I can see how good Dr. Ratio does, because he has a bunch of debuffs on him, so I can see it's 80% chance. Oh? I was about to say, ain't no way I'm missing 80% chance. 27k is nice, especially because it triggers Numby. That's pretty damn good. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this with Topaz. Then I'm going to normal here. Normal here. That way I can go ahead and generate a bunch of skill points. Um, yeah, you can see she's kind of taking the heat right now, Fushuan. <coughs> which is what she's there for. So let's see. 11.8k didn't trigger the follow-up no that sucks um let's see i think i just want to normal this for now because i have to spend a bunch of skill points here all right we're gonna do this we're gonna burn this this is going to be able to give us this and i think i kind of chill on this because i think i'm going to be able to get a really big turn here in a second um Let's see. I said I don't have my doctor ratio fully invested in, obviously, as I showed you guys. This is minimum investment, so 
I'm really curious to see like how good he does here because this is going to be a very big turn. So we're going to normal this. Um, we're going to do that. Didn't mean to do that. That was Dr. Vacio's turn. Now we're going to do this. He's going to do that. Do his little follow-up. Oh, dear God. 73k. I did not expect that. That's kind of wacky. So let's see how much damage. Dude, what is going on? I'm not even doing anything. It's just going. That's so sick. That's actually such a cool interaction. I really enjoy that. So we do this. This is going to trigger him to follow up. Cause Numbi to come into. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this so we can get double Numbi action. And now we're going to just normal with her. Uh, normal here. That's going to start timing that out. We're going to go ahead and use his skill. It's going to trigger the follow up for 36k. Jeez, that's no. That follow up is no joke, dude. That is so much damage. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this now. We're going to make sure to do this. That way she triggers her self heal, so she doesn't die, because uh, she has to tank a good little bit here. So now we are going to go ahead. I think I just want to do normal here. Yeah. Because I am going to want to use all the skill points. So we're going to do this. Use her skill point, refresh it, and try to build up her ult as fast as possible. Although I don't think we're going to need her ult by the time they're getting ready to die. So let's see. Um, we're going to go ahead, pop this, because this is going to give us a massive damage boost. I did end up getting Ruan May's Light Cone, by the way. Uh, just randomly. I got really lucky with it. So, let's see. Boop. Ooh! Oh, 100k! No way, dude. Oh, that's so nasty. Yeah, go ahead and finish it off, Numby. Um, dude, he is... I don't... I barely have him invested in it. Oh my god. Is he strong. Jesus. He hit 100k. I got him on level 6. Oh, level 8. I got him on 4686. Bro, he is strong. Look, I want you to compare the free units that we get from. The free unit we got from uh, Genshin was Aloy. Compare that to this. Aloy, I did everything I can to make her work. She's not usable. But Dr. Ratio is a damn carry. Dear God, I love this game. Anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking about um, him in the comment section below. Uh, you guys are going to see a lot less uploads from me from here on out. It's just the way it is. Uh, the other channel is doing really good, so I'm sorry. Uh, but anytime something interests me, anytime a new character comes out, I will be giving my thoughts on that. I'll probably do one more video tomorrow about the banner. You really shouldn't summon on it, but I'm going to make a video exactly why. The fact that I'm going to do that is kind of funny to me. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Dr. Ratio in the comment section below. He's broken to me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.